Hey everybody, I wanna to talk today about Scrap, which is a new micro short film from Coronation. It is a stop motion animation that was made in 12 days. That looks really cool. So with us today, we got Joseph Fafelski. He's here at Coronation Media. He does development with us. He's working on a new feature. And Seth Bortner, who is the creme de la creme of animators globally. They took some trash and they turned it into gold. And you're gonna find out how. Welcome to Heralds and Fools, the Coronation podcast where we talk shop. We talk about the different sorts of projects we have, from client projects to passion projects. And today, we have a really cool passion project that's a stop motion animation that was made in just 12 days. And it's awesome. I want to talk to you guys about this little fella who's sitting here on the, on the table. Yeah. We're joined here by this guy. Who yes. is this guy? Our hero. Our hero. This is the puppet. From our stop motion short scrap. Now short short is very a short. very good description Micro of what short. this is. Yeah, yeah. Thirty second proof of concept is probably better. So where did yeah, it, where did the idea come from? Like what was the impulse? What were you talking around around the lunch table where this yeah. came well, up? Yeah. I mean, the the truth is Joe and I have been talking about doing stop motion something stop motion probably since we met. Yeah. Um, yeah, honestly. Like since we started here. And it got to a point where we, I guess we finally had a space to do it and a, I don't know about time, but we, we found the time. Yeah. Uh, and so we we're like, okay, let's do something. And then not long after that, he comes up to me. He's like, what about robots? Yeah, exactly. And, and he shows <laughs> yeah. me this like, yeah. like, uh, what was that? It was a little, yeah, it was a little piece of concept art that I'd done that morning to test out a brush pack in Photoshop. Yeah. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've seen the. Like yeah, yeah. It was just a little. It was like what I usually do, which is I just sit down and just draw robots because, like, I love robots. But um, so yeah, I just sat down, I sketched this thing, um, and then we had been going back and forth about some story ideas, and most of them yeah. were a little bit more long form. Most of them had like dialogue, and we were realizing as a kind of proof of concept, we wanted to stay away from that in our first project, basically yeah, together, first stuff together. Um, yeah. And so, so yeah, then I, I ran upstairs and I was like, what about robots? And I showed him this little piece of concept art. And I was like, what if we just tried to do this? Yeah. And it started as just an idea for one shot. And then we we're like, well, let's build a sequence yeah. around this one shot. Yeah. I don't know if we can show that concept art, but it was essentially right. just like a giant robot head and a little boy standing in front of it, like okay. on a, on a raptor, sort yeah, of like, like a, a scaffolding or something. I mean, we pretty much got there to some, to some extent. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, in the end, but yeah. So context, right? Context. You've done stop motion shorts before, much yeah, longer yeah. than this. You've done longer stuff. Yeah, a, a few. I mean, I've done a lot of just like testing. There's a lot of playing around in my apartment over the years, um, just like messing with puppets. And then I've also done um, a longer, uh, five, almost five minutes or so. Um, short called say on new which is about an old man and, and a old man at his house and a wolf comes in onto his uh property which is he, really good and he has, really good. has to decide what to sort. what to do with yeah. it yeah. well thank yeah thanks <laughs> I, I and guess. i can't pronounce the name at all yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a, it's a french title it's uh, probably pretentious uh but uh <laughs> but there, there's sort of reasons <laughs> why, is that part yeah part of your journey is going from fancy french tile <laughs> title to coming here and then making something called scrap, scrap. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was like, I need to scrap yeah. everything yeah. <laughs> well the, I, I mean it was very it was very long i learned a lot of what makes things difficult and so i constantly through this i'm like trying to avoid that like no, Joe, I cannot animate like inside right. a box and like right. do it like right. it was like like yeah. So there's a lot of problems. And what was the beauty beauty about this is like there's no elements on the stage that can move. Yeah. Essentially, except except the puppet. I should back us up for a minute here. Yeah. You yeah. Know, just as we're <laughs> keep going farther. And farther well, no, back. I just realized I haven't introduced. We, none of us have introduced ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So I'm Gary. I'm creative director at Coronation Media. 
This is Seth. He's an animator with us at Coronation Hello. Media. Animator of all sorts of different mediums at yes. Coronation. Not stop motion. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> now, scrap. Yeah. And this is Joe. Joe is working on development on an upcoming feature for us at Coronation, which we'll announce very soon. Which is very exciting. Yeah. Really excited. Do you have any experience with stop motion at all before this? Um, I'd done a couple little small things on my own. I'd done a little bit of claymation and I'd done Legos yeah. <laughs> as a kid. So like basically, no, not, nothing to this scale, nothing to this quality. And it was amazing to be able to work with somebody like Seth who has the background and the experience and the practice to know what to avoid. Because I don't think I have, I definitely don't have that yeah. level of experience. It was mostly like, I know how to build stuff. I don't necessarily know how to bring it to life to the degree that Seth can do. Where did the really cool. stop motion come from? Like, how did it enter your life? Um, like Most there, yeah, this, I <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so I get tell it. me about your childhood. Yeah. With well, stop I mean, truthfully, I did do some stop motion in, in high school. Um, just, I guess, claymation stuff. I have a short, I think it's still on YouTube. I, th I think it's called snowman. Look up snowman, Seth Bortner, and you'll find it. it's real, real janky. Um, but it's it's a it's a uh, pulls at the heartstrings. So, <laughs> but um, anyway, so I did that a little bit, and I, I I always wanted to do animation and never did. I learned video production in college, and then at some point, I was like, I need to do animation. And as I'm fumbling around with like what sort of animation to do, I think I ran into I I found a it was a music video. What's the guy's name? I want to say Rex Orange County. He has a, like a stop motion where okay. it's just like a puppet singing and playing. And mm. I was like, oh, that's I could do that. Like, because mm. I can't draw, I, I couldn't do anything. But I was like, well, maybe I can just like rig some wire together or clay or whatever. So then I started getting into it and got really into it and was just like practicing and yeah. had all these dreams of uh, animating for Leica or whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah and, uh, yeah, and then eventually, you know, I started getting into other animation and actually found, like, more, like, just motion graphics paid the bills more. Yeah. And so uh, I leaned into that, and 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 this became more of, like, a hobby. Gotcha. Or whatever. But, gotcha. Yeah, because I yeah. remember when you first came, you were like, that was, like, it was very clear that that was, like, a serious love of yours, yeah. stop motion. Is that still the case? Is it still, like, stop motion is the – because we should just say – you're an excellent animator in After Effects. You're great in Blender. Like, you know the digital yeah. tools, but you do seem to have a mild preference for yeah. acoustic animation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I've, I guess I've wondered that too. I'm like, do I even want to do this? Do I want to put all the time in? And on my own right. time, I have like very little now. And so, like, Blender where I can just hop in and like chip away at like a few keyframes for the 30 minutes I have every day, maybe yeah, mm -hmm. that like is much more feasible than stop motion, which is so, in so time intensive. Yeah. And right. also like to the space thing. Cause I, so I yeah. did stop motion too when I was a kid and I was, I didn't have like the only thing I could do back then is you had my little uh, mini DV or I guess whatever it was super eight. I don't remember. But it was like a VHS. I think it went yeah, back to VHS. VHS yeah. It was like you press record, you press stop, you like press record, quick. you press stop. Yeah. yeah. And it was just yep. toys and, you know, models mm -hmm. and a lot of Lego yeah. too. Yeah. Um, but the key thing that you're talking about with space is that it takes forever to animate these things. And if anything moves, you're out of luck. Yeah. So it's not right. like it's actually like a medium that requires like a protected environment. And that's so hard. That's so hard to get, especially when I like I would do stuff in my apartment, but it was always like, OK, I got to black all the windows. I got to or like find an area that I can keep black all the time. And it became impossible as I started to not be a, just a single guy on its own anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and then we, we got this new the new place here and we started to yeah. those doors started to reopen and so now you may not have been too too stop mo of a guy but yeah. you're definitely a <laughs> props guy yeah for sure for so sure. Talk, talk about that because right so you learned yeah. there's a lot of different ways that you made props here and then right. like a lot of kit bashing and a lot of and 3d printing and right. hand sculpting 
But like, what was different about this versus other sort of prop stuff you've done? Anything that different? Um, I mean, I think the biggest thing for this particular project was I got to use a lot more of like the kibashing sci-fi skills that I haven't really been able to use, I guess, in a professional context that much. And so it was a lot of fun to actually use a lot of those like weathering techniques and stuff that I haven't used since like, like college, basically. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And it was also really interesting too, because like Seth mentioned, he, you know, kind of dreamed of like working for Leica and stuff. I did too. But I always dreamed that I wouldn't actually be able to be an animator because I don't have the patience <laughs> that people like Seth have. So I applied as like a storyboard artist and I ended up getting like surprisingly close to actually getting a job. Oh, nice. Like, which I, is really I actually cool. didn't even know. Yeah. That. Yeah. Which is fascinating. There's yeah. all these. Yeah. Like, honestly, like it's funny because we've been working yeah. together forever. Yeah. But I actually do think yeah. I do learn things talking on podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> <That's just laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah. That is funny. <laughs> But um, so but you yeah. weren't good enough for Leica. I wasn't good enough but you're for good Leica. Enough for us, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I I've always had a love of stop motion, particularly because of the miniatures, because yeah. everything is scaled down, and to me that's kind of the perfect way to make a prop. It's the most fake, real thing you can possibly do. And I think there's something really exciting about that, about being able to scale down an entire set yeah. and try to make it fit on a table. Um, and so that was kind of something I've always enjoyed doing in the small scale that I've been able to do it. And for this, it was like, okay, this is awesome. I get to use these skills at a larger scale for a real project yeah. for, you know, with real legitimate animation. It's going to look awesome. Yeah. So that was kind of, yeah. And the, like, the excitements. Uh, let's, let's watch it and then we can kind of break it down a little bit. So one of the things I want to talk about, which is a technical thing on that first scene, was you guys told me as you were making the models, you're like, we're not going to use armatures, right? Did you use armatures for the walking scene at all? You mean like, oh, like, like helping a, hands? Like a Sorry, rig. wrong like yeah, 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 yeah. What are those yeah. called? The, um, like a rig, a fly rig. or okay. Yeah, know. fly I, rig I think is the most technical. So it had, but basically yeah, my yeah. point is the character had zero support. Yeah, other than his body, you know, <laughs> you know, I think I, I think if you look closely, there might be a frame or two in there where there's a support. Oh, is there really? Okay. Yeah, and I think really? I just realized I never cut it out. I like, <laughs> I did not see a support at all. There's there's literally one frame. One frame. I think in the beginning, in the first in the first okay. shot. So that actually makes so it me actually feel needs to go back to post. Yeah, and that's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's another yeah. round of revisions. Yeah. No, I just like, but you did do what you did have for this, which I thought was novel, is that you have magnets in his feet. Is that like a standard yeah. thing? Um, or? I I think it, I think sometimes, it can. Um, yeah. So we it has he has rare earth magnets in his feet. Um, I I don't know if there's maybe stronger ones. Uh, that would that would that would have worked better. And it worked okay, but it was very it was very limited on like what like how what his walk can actually look like. He can't not much can be supported. It has to be really balanced in order to stand up, okay, or right, right. propped against the door or yeah or something. Um, so yeah, there are there are a few where it's like I, I just can't get him to stand up. So I put a little wire. Just, okay, just hold, okay. just like, like so just there was there was wire without, removals and stuff. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes me feel more comfortable with my understanding of how stop well, motion works. Well, what's interesting yeah. is there is Joe no, was like, yeah. yeah, we're not, he's like, we're just going to use these magnets. And I was like, that sounds yeah. insane. It was a little bit insane. It was tricky. And, and the floor yeah. was just a, a big metal sheet, big <laughs> piece of steel, right? Yeah. Big, yeah. Steel. And yeah, so stainless. it like uh, sort of attached to that. And I, I guess I intended to like, reinforce that with more magnets on the bottom wherever his foot was but it became kind of tricky um okay. i yeah. think maybe i think maybe a, a thinner floor that wasn't metal 
and doing that might have actually worked better, but that's interesting. I don't know how to get much yeah. thinner than that. Yeah, it would, it would get tricky. But yeah, I mean, we were trying to experiment basically and see what was going to work so we didn't have to do a tie down yeah. for every foot yeah. step because that was part of the first conversation. Yeah, because um, anytime I've done that, I feel like it's, the feet get so big and weird. Um, now, his feet right. were, aren't tiny. They still did have pretty big magnets in them. Not as small as I wanted to be, but if you are going to get small feet, you kind right. of just need to right. be on a rig yeah, the entire sure. time. Yeah. Actually, why don't you pull, Seth, can you pull a model up and show the camera how this looks? Yeah. So this is our puppet. Um, and there's a, a lot of weird things going on, but essentially he's a, a wire armature underneath everything. He's then like skinned sort of with a athletic wrap on his body and legs and arms just to give him a little bit of uh, bulk. And then his uh, jumpsuit is just sewn on top. Uh, and so like he's posable and can do whatever. Um, he actually looks bigger here than he does on camera, I think. Yeah. He looks taller or something. <laughs> That's true. Like, do you? He looks so tiny on the... Yeah. Do you make the wire rig yourself or is it like, is it like, do you like, is there like preset pieces you buy? Is it like a proprietary no, stop motion? Just bought, I just bought like a, a, a spool of aluminum wire. Um, I think it, I think I did get it from like uh, animation supplies.com okay. maybe or something okay. like it's, it's sort of supposed to be like that, but aluminate aluminum wire uh, has like a really strong memory, so it's not going to bounce back to like whatever you s or maybe it has a weak memory. Yeah, actually. weak memory. I don't, technically, I, don't I think yeah. So, <coughs> so whatever you set it to, it's not going to bounce back to what what you had before. It's just going to stay right where you are. So you can get sort of pretty subtle stuff that way. And then as we we're talking about, his feet have these magnets underneath, um, just built in and just epoxy puttied like to the to the wire, and then also wrapped in this. Uh, Sugru, which is like a moldable glue. Okay. For the feet, um, the feet probably didn't come out quite as beautiful as I hoped, but um, I feel like, like with the it, whole aesthetic, it, yeah, it works. It's, yeah, see, that, that's yeah. the beauty of the the whole project too. Is like we can kind of get keep it dirty and not have to worry about like as I'm yeah. as I'm doing the feet and stuff. His my fingers have black on them then, and so I'm getting black all over his suit. I'm like, well, what? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> or like all the all the glue. There's like glue stains and stuff that you like. Just doesn't matter because he's it's got, got that got sort of lived in sci-fi yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of. And we ended up dressing. Vibe. We ended up like painting him more, basically okay. adding more weathering because we were like, yeah, let's lean into it. Let's just let that be part out. of. I his actually don't think I've touched this fella yet. Style. How would it in the head? What is the head? So the head is uh, a new process I've, I've never done before, which is just 3D printing. I'm not a okay. new, not new for the industry, but yeah. So that was that was another challenge. Is like I spent a day or two just <laughs> figuring out how to <laughs> 3D, 3D print, print at all. Yeah. And then he has replacement mouths as well, which uh, the functionality of them came, came out a little wonky, not amazing. Well, but, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that know. though, because you see the seam, right? Like the mm -hmm. seam around it. Yeah. But then I was like, I was at my house, and my kids were watching Sean the Sheep. Yeah. And the farmer's yeah. mouth, the seam is completely present too, they and I had it. never yeah. noticed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I had never noticed that there was like that seam. I sort yeah. of just interpreted. I don't know what I interpreted it as. Like maybe it was just like a like yeah. a mustache or right. But he, the seam is a hundred percent visible. Just, just you just much. don't care. You're just in it. Yeah. You're just right. Yeah. You just believe the world. Yeah. yeah. And so we and so we learned like the the issue with this mouth is you put it in there and then you can't get it back out at least not with your fingers <laughs> so I had to use gaff tape to actually like oh, pull God. it back yeah. out and so we had to hand sand every single mouth because the 3D printer was always just a little off so everything didn't quite fit together so everything had to be yeah. hand sanded for every single frame that the mouth moves <laughs> so some, you were doing all the designs of all the models of the faces in Blender. Yeah. So Sending yeah. It so out to the three D printer, yep. design the head, the entire head, including it, including the glasses and everything, without the hair, and then printed that out, and then the mouths were separate, and right. uh, he just had a hole, which I think we had to hollow out a little bit more just so we could get the mouths in better. So there's definitely more more development to be done as far as uh, yeah. how to get more more precise because it's a high res printer, right? Right. But 
it still doesn't or at least the way the way I was doing it still was not not quite yeah. And cut, yeah, and there are, there are other things that we tried on this that I don't think we would do again. Like so his head is printed in two halves. Okay. Yeah. Um so that we could fit a brass rod inside to kind of locate onto his neck and everything so the head could come on and off. Um and then we also glued a magnet into the back side of his head for the mouth so that the mouthpiece could Got it. could be located in by which a magnet. might have made it harder which made it more difficult <laughs> exactly yeah and i think yeah, it was exactly. like it made sense but then when we actually did it and put it in scale we were like oh my gosh this is tiny yeah how are we going to be able to actually get this let's need the magnet on the front and then like a little stick with a magnet thing or, on. yeah exactly. well that was actually yeah. i think we were trying that we tried too that, yeah. i was going to like use a bunch of magnets out here to pull it back out and like it didn't it just wasn't enough the, the two yeah. magnets in the back are so close together that you can't Right. <laughs> like through the mouth and anyway it's just it's just that didn't work out so i think that it'll have the entire bottom half of his yeah, face next will be time. replacement yep. that's exactly time. what the farmers got and yeah the sheep. so yeah. instead of like doing what the professionals do we tried to do something different <laughs> yeah. and, and failed <laughs> and failed miserably yep. yeah yeah so we learned. may know what they're doing yeah, yeah. <laughs> potentially yeah could theoretically <laughs> i love the i love the spirit i mean this whole thing i think like when we were uh we're like oh I'll give you guys a green light to do it it just became so exciting so quick to the point where I kept wanting to go down and just watch you guys yeah. do stuff. I purposefully didn't want to see the storyboards. Like I didn't look at the yeah, storyboards yeah. till after because I wanted to see it. I brought my kids to the studio on a weekend just to have I was like, don't touch. This is the robot head. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this oh, is great. The guy. I had I had a live a live shot over the weekend. No, it was, it was when you were still in construction. Yeah. Because yeah. so, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. we were we were freaking out about that. We were like, somebody and their kids are gonna come in here and play with this. Because I'm, oh, no. I'm in the, I'm in the middle of like a I'm in the, I'm in the, in the middle of like a 15 second shot and I have to walk away at the end of the day. Yeah. And hope that everything is is still in the exact same place. So that that so opening was, shot, that long one, right? How yeah. long did that take you to animate? Because it's a rather like it's a pretty long, a long sequence shot. for a stop motion. Yeah, it, it all in all, it might have been six hours for that. Something, okay, something yeah, like that. Okay, yeah. but just over over the a course of a couple of days. I think yeah. the first one you did in one day. I think it was a one day. I think the first shot. Yeah, the, the first shot. Because I know I left that one overnight. That's right. And the and the robot shot I left overnight. We read because we redid one of them too. Yeah, I think that was the the the, the final like, the, the final shot. I did like probably three times because it was just like not yeah. not quite working. Oh right, because you're trying to podium the camera up. Yeah, as you're changing a, mouth states as you're changing the character's expressions. Yeah, while trying to keep the light consistent and stuff. And so that one we actually had the light mounted to the camera. Yeah. So that oh that's because cool. otherwise the the first time it was going great and then the camera the shadow of the camera is creeping in yeah, into frame. Into like, frame. What was that? Yeah. Like what? Um, were you just using a tripod? To like yeah, so or? yeah, we used one of these dry bots <laughs> yeah. um, because it was the only way other than like mounting it to a C-stand or something, which was kind of how I thought we did, but we didn't have any C-stands. Yeah, so, so this is this is the <laughs> yeah. subtext. So small studio, we set you guys up. We're like, okay, go for it. The video team goes out on set and takes all the all gear. They're, <laughs> they're in like Boston. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so exactly. it's gone. So, so we had no gear. It was just basically gaff tape and leftovers. <laughs> And that's yeah. part of the reason why we named it Scrap, because the whole project was basically made out of scrap materials yeah. from previous, you know, sets and props and everything and trash. Well, um, that, that sets it up. So, yeah. okay, the robot head. Yeah, I want to talk yeah, about yeah. making yeah. that because I that was the thing. Like when I did bring my kids over the weekend, yeah, I was like, you got to see this robot head. Yeah, and they all freaked <laughs> out. They thought it was the coolest thing. So, talk, yeah, how'd you make that? Yeah, the robot head was a lot of fun because it was like just good old fashioned kit bashing just make stuff out of nothing kind of like is the the way like so the basic body of it is a water jug okay that i just had like in my recycling bin at home and i saw it and i was like that's a robot head like that's the perfect shape and then i basically cut up a bunch of styrofoam cups um and like a um like tupperware lid yeah and like just a bunch of other random things and like little greeblies and stuff that we had lying around from other projects and like broken camera gear that I just started gluing down and everything and then painted the whole thing, primered it. And uh, once it was in primer, 
I was able to step back and be able to go like, okay, yeah, this actually looks like a robot head. At first yeah. it was like, this kind of just looks like trash. <laughs> yeah, glued together. <laughs> glued together. <laughs> but then to actually get the primer on it, take a step back and actually look at it um, was really cool. So the eyeballs, talk about the yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, the eyes. Yeah, they were sitting on the ground out here in the in the shop. <laughs> um, the one was broken. Uh, the other one, they're basically just little um, magnetic lights that we had in our van. Um, yeah, our, our gear you van. Like push and them to you, click yeah, them on. Put, so very you, likely yeah. a purchase I made at Walmart years ago. Years ago, exactly. Because our van doesn't have internal lights on the back. 100%. That's, <laughs> That's really yeah, funny. Yeah, exactly. So they, they were just sitting on the ground. The one was broken. The other one didn't have any batteries or whatever. So I grabbed them um, and was like, maybe I can get these to work and these can it be the so eyes. Good. I mean, it leads character. to a sound design moment too, yeah, which I really yeah. like, which is the when the mm -hmm. lights are flickering. You have that old school light bulb yeah, sound. Yeah, light bulb sound. It's, yeah. It's so good. The animation on the reveal of the robot is really strong yeah. it feels mm -hmm. like such it feels like that sort of classic robot motion was that this is like the stupidest question but is it like easier to animate that way because you, it's maybe a little more forgiving than like a organic sort yeah, of motion i i think so yeah for the most part like i think i think the i think what was tricky was animating the getting the animation of this the scale of the robot head right speed um, of it. yeah because yeah. It's hard to get reference of like how, what does a, this massive head like how would it move and bounce and and shake and I don't know how how close I got there. Um, it probably could have be slowed down like half the speed, but it's pretty good. I, you I know, know within the be, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I, I think it's still fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's easier than trying to keep hit like his body the the puppet's body organic and and flowing without right yeah and and just doing the bumps and stuff is like yeah. yeah it's very very forgiving that's so it's so it's so cool it's so funny how like cuz i feel like when i was a little kid you know stop motion was like this thing I'd read about in books from the library or there'd be like one or two movies like i mean I remember chicken run coming yeah, out and yeah, that being like such a huge deal i love chicken run but like there was no scaffolding or support for like kids. It's so funny though now, like how different it is. Like on the iPads, the apps they have on yeah. iPads of just like they have onion skinning and right. they have right. everything. But yeah. I think I don't know. There's something so. What I love about stop motion is there's something so like akin to like the inner this it, the inner child sort of yeah. thing mm -hmm. is so yeah. present because you're playing with the toys. They you're bringing them to life. It's like such a full extension. Yeah. of that yeah. and build yeah building like the sets and everything too is exactly like that i loved like, every single minute of taking a bunch of foam and wood and plastic and like and just bashing everything together and being able to really pull it into something that i saw in my head you know it's so clear to be able to translate those ideas and so it was like yeah it, it was it was a lot of fun um and it was kind of like being a kid again in a sense to just kind of play with this stuff yeah um, and I and I would say I mean the the beauty of the thing I feel like a, I feel like that's what is like commented on is the beauty of the thing is definitely like almost all Joseph's like well. doing just because <laughs> like I come to this stuff I'm like I can do animation a little bit and so that's about, like that's about it and like I I built the puppet <laughs> just the amount of like humility is like uh, you're very good at animation. yeah you're really you're really good dude when when the, when the I can do animation a little bit head. well yeah. I mean especially when it's when it's stop motion but yeah. like yeah I built the puppet but even even the like the nice stuff of the, like Joseph still did all the all the coloring and and uh, like dirtying up and the painting of the face and stuff. And so, like, I feel like all the aesthetics are pretty much are, are pretty much him. Okay. And and that's a lot of times what's lacked in in mm. the stuff that I make is like it's a, 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 like it might move nice, but the design is not quite there. And so I feel like it was a, a great, great partnership, team. especially yeah. when it's physical stuff. Like I'm not I'm not a physical builder kind of guy. Yeah. Right. And so he was able to bring all of that and okay, it just really meshed well. Well, what would what's the next what's the next scrap? What's the big plan? What's where? Scrap how? Where does this go from here? Out. We've seen the thirty-seven <laughs> seconds. Yeah. What's next? Yeah, <laughs> forty minutes now. Like I, I, I would, I would be. You can cut. You probably cut this part out. But like, <laughs> I would be interested to like crowdsource, like mm. crowdfund oh, something. Even if like a, like here we're, we want to do a ten-minute thing. Yeah, right. But you know, because you have this like kind of proof of concept or something, yeah. and 
yeah. you get some rich guys like, yeah, I want, I want this. I want to see that. I want my name on it. I want <laughs> you, so you want some rich guys to invest in scrap. In scrap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole point. <laughs> Scrap's yeah. where it's at. It's a trick. Oh, that's cool. So, I mean, to build that out or like to do like to do another sort of because I've read another script that you guys have, right, for like stop motion stuff, which is wild. And I'm glad that you started with 30 seconds a second. Oh, yeah. Seconds. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that would yeah. take like a Same. year. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, I think that's going to be the next challenge is figuring out like, OK, these are the things we can do and these are the things we can do well. Yeah. Like moving into dialogue yeah. is a whole nother thing and figuring out like okay is that something we want to tackle next or do we want to tackle something else yeah. like just longer like trying to figure out i guess on a practical level what of our what are our limitations yeah and try to tackle that next set of limitations it's and not a, get too far down the road you know it's such a fun inventive uh sort of sort of medium altogether there's so many ways to employ we did a series yeah. of stop motion videos that peter and jason we're working on right. and it's all tabletop stuff and their sort of creative challenge that they figured out was like the incorporation of cell animation mm. and digital overlay animation so it felt like because all these papers would slide across the table and then they would have cell animation on them and that was wild too but, it, but it, i mean like the sky's the limit with the stuff it's so inventive yeah. and there's like so many ways to deploy totally. it and i do think actually doing this really excited me for the future because i was like okay I'm confident in what I can build. But now more than anything, I'm confident in what Seth can animate. Because I'm like, this guy can freaking do it. <laughs> he can bring yeah. anything to life. He can make a metal door look interesting. And I was <laughs> the like, the door is so good. It, it, the it weight, does. the door it has weight. So well. Which is good. And like Thanks. all of what Seth was able to do with the things that I made was amazing. So it's like, yeah. okay, the sky is kind of the limit. Like, we just need to figure out what that limit is. Yeah. I think we had to prove to ourselves that we could yeah. do something. And yeah, to, instead of doing a giant thing where uh, we're working on it for, for months on end yeah. and like you guys are still like, yeah. I hope it's good. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I hope you guys good. know what you're doing. Yeah. I knew it'd be good. <laughs> like we can we can kind of at least point back to this. Hey, you like this, right? Yeah. No, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's These are the type of projects that like, they don't just give you guys life. Cause I know like when you're doing like a ton of client work and stuff, sometimes you can feel drained. And then it's nice to have a creative project like that's an outlet, but I think it like brings the whole studio life yeah, too, which yeah. is really cool. Obviously, Seth lived in these shots for days, so it's yeah. like there are so many little nuances. Like with the lever, let's talk about to the lever. Out the hands, like the like we didn't talk about the fact that the hands are animatable. Like they have wires in them and everything, mm. and they're super mm. small. And those are literally cut out of a glove. <laughs> yeah, like they're literal the, the gloves. Leather, the leather, leather gloves. gloves. Leather gloves. It's leather, leather gloves. from a glove, <laughs> and that yeah. was probably lying on the floor somewhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Literally. He's like, I guess you can cut these up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay. Geez, yeah. Joe's like the little, like he's like DJ sneaking around the hallways at night. Only he's not <laughs> yeah. looking for robots. He's looking for stuff to make yeah, stuff out. Yeah, exactly. I'm like looking for everybody's discarded cool things. <laughs> um, and the and yeah. the hair is also like is is more like i used to make a lot of felt puppets that mm -hmm. was like my whole like needle felt puppets and so his hair is still needle felt that we okay. just like gl just glued on top and yeah and then trim, yeah. trim down a little bit so it doesn't so like absurd but yeah he was like a yeah. barber i mean like <laughs> yeah like, i gave him a haircut like we had like seth spent i don't know maybe two days sewing like yeah. there's a lot of those little how, how many days really all in yeah. like how many days were you guys working on this do you know i have to ask Corey. uh yeah well, I think so, the build was like four days. Yeah, the actual build of okay. the set, the props, the robot, and him was four days. That's yeah, crazy. I'm pretty sure it was just four days. That's Which crazy. is honestly no, you guys were booking it fast. I mean, we were both down there just cranking it out. Yeah, the whole like yeah, it was definitely a sprint, but it was a sprint we enjoyed, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, and, and like then animation, yeah. like how long did that take? I think that landed like five or six days. That's crazy. I think it was oh, like yeah. six days. Yeah. And then post, what kind of post cleanup, what kind of post work did you have to do on it? It was pretty straightforward. I mean, most of it, most of the time went into sound. Okay. Um, yeah. Because we decided not to clean up the mouth. Part of the whole thought was like, we basically wanted to have one day of post. Like we wanted this yeah, thing totally. to be as tight and fast as possible. We wanted, basically to prove that. It's because it was a it. test. It, yeah, was exactly. a, it was like, yeah, yeah. you were like um jamming and coming up with a song real quick yeah yeah. yeah yeah we also want uh, as much of it as possible to be in camera yeah to yeah. be as real yeah. as possible and so like yeah like most of post most of that one day 
of post was basically sound design yeah. going through and finding football texture sounds and metal that's cool. and like that's cool. just yeah. going through and, and there, so you did stuff. the one set extension right that was it yeah there was a little bit of matte painting um and ceiling. so like just the very the very first shot back behind him there's yeah. like a little bit of so i had to like roto him a little bit in the in that beginning nice um well, it wasn't a terrible amount yeah so yeah, just yeah the one camera. I, w- I would love to see more stop motion coming out of the studio. It's such a like it's just one of the mo- I feel like it's one of the more like romantic. Yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's just it's just yeah. cool. Yeah, it's just cool. It is really cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, talking today. Talking scrap. Yeah. Talking scrap <laughs> with Joe and Seth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The recurring show. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Joe, Seth, thank you very much for uh, making something awesome and for yeah, doing it with our team. Uh, if you want to listen to more case studies or just studio chatter, tune in to Heralds and Fools, the new Coronation Media Podcast, which the intro, which is beautiful, was also animated by Seth Porter. So, got a lot of skills. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. We just like it. Just yeah. like can't finish. Yeah. Just, keep yeah. just keep rambling. Seth is really good at animating lots of 10 second sequences. <laughs> yeah. 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 Awesome. Yo, yo, yo. More as in try more options or like give me more energy. I was going to say pump it up. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say like snappier, punchy like Gary. punchy yeah. Gary. Punchy Gary. All right. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, it's me, Gary. <laughs> What's up, LinkedIn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <please. laughs> All right. Three Celsius. Yeah. Three Celsius, Gary. What's up, LinkedIn? Stop talking about stocks. Because we have, we have a stop motion to talk to you about. That's a real job. Get a real job. Anyway, these are my... <laughs> <How's that? laughs> yeah. Honestly, perfect. People would watch that. <laughs> Can you try it too, like a one and a half? Like that Celsius. one. First one was one, that one was three. Okay. Yeah. He's like playing with dolls. So do these guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens when you get a bunch of trash? Yo, yo, yo. And Seth Bortner. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. Okay.